Thomas and Friends。トーマス and the Lighthouse。トーマス and Friends。トーマス and the Lighthouse。It was the harvest festival on the island of Sodo, and everyone was celebrating. There was to be a big party in the evening. There would be clowns, the choir would be singing. There would be a fancy dress parade with a Chinese dragon and a wonderful firework display. All the engines had Special jobs, and they were all very excited, especially Thomas. The fat controller came to Tid Mouth Shed. <clears throat> Thomas, you must take a new light bulb to the lighthouse, he said to the little engine. Yes, sir, Thomas tooted happily. The fat controller told Thomas that the light bulb had to. Reach the lighthouse before dark so that ships at sea could find their way to Sodo safely. The light bulb will break easily, the fat controller warned Thomas. You must go slowly and carefully. So Thomas puffed away to the warehouse. Thomas collected the light bulb from the warehouse, then he set off along the track. Moving slowly and carefully, just as the fat controller had told him, even though he was very excited about the party, he slowed at every bend and chaffed carefully through every junction. Thomas stopped at a signal. Emily was there. She was pulling the merry go round behind her. Emily was excited about the party too. The fireworks are going to start when it darks, it gets dark, she peeped. Thomas hoped he would be back in time to see the fireworks. <coughs> he loved to watch firework displays. The lighthouse was on the far side of the island of Sodo, a long way away. It would take Thomas a long time to get there if. He kept moving so slowly and carefully, and he didn't want to miss the fireworks. An idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I'm sure the light bulb won't break it break if I go just a little faster, he chuffed to himself. So when the signal changed, Thomas sped up just a little. At the water tower he saw James. Who was pulling trucks full of fireworks? This is going to be the biggest firework party ever, James whispered happily. Thomas became even more excited about the fireworks. I'm sure I can go just a little faster, he chuffed. He sped up just a little more. The bulb began to rattle and shake on Thomas's flat bed trailer. Just then, Henry had to pass, pulling swings and a seesaw, which were covered with a big seat. It's going to be a wonderful party, puffed Henry. So Thomas sped up a little more again. Then Thomas saw Toby with the coconut shell. See you at the party, Thomas, sang Toby. And Thomas went even faster. Next. Thomas saw Percy with carriages of children, all in fancy dress. The children were very excited. See you at the firework party, Thomas. The children called it. Now Thomas wanted to be back for the party more than ever. Before he knew it, he was puffing very fast indeed. Then there was trouble. Harvey was replacing some tracks. The workman had put a barrier across the line. Thomas was going much too fast to stop safely. Crash! He bashed into the barrier, and the light bulb, but light bulb smashed. Cinders and ashes! Cried Thomas. 
The lighthouse will not have its light, and the sealing ships won't be safe at sea. Thomas knew what he had to do. He puffed back to the warehouse to collect a new light bulb as fast as his wheels would carry him. Now Thomas knew he would be back too late to back too late to see the fireworks. On the way, Thomas stopped at the signal. Edward was waiting there, and he was very excited. I'm off to collect the Chinese dragon. He tooted happily, but all Thomas could think about was fetching the new light bulb. He tried not to think about the party he was going to miss. Thomas returned to the warehouse. The new light bulb was placed gently on his flat bed, and Thomas set off along the track again, slowly and carefully. He knew he had to deliver this light bulb. Safely to the lighthouse before dark. This time, Thomas chugged gently along the track. Toby passed him with the core, who were practicing their songs. Then Edward passed him, proudly pulling the Chinese dragon. Thomas didn't think about the firework party once. He had an important job to do. The sun was already setting. When Thomas arrived at the lighthouse, the light bulb was still in one piece. Thank you, Thomas," said the lighthouse keeper, as the bulb was unloaded from Thomas Thomas's flat bed. Thomas puffed back to Tidmouth sheds. He knew he had missed the fireworks. He was very disappointed. But when Thomas came to the top of a hill, he saw a brilliant sight. The lighthouse beam shone brightly. The ship's lights twinkled in the harbor, and the stars were reflected in the sea. Thomas thought that all the lights looked just as wonderful as fireworks.